session uh, on nav navigating you through the disruption in art, design, and design education by Mr. Leftress Heretikis. Mr. Leftress Heretikis is a lecturer in design, IE University, a visual communicator with extensive knowledge and experience in creative industries. His clients include publishers, magazines, multinational advertising agencies, as well as ambitious entrepreneurs. Guided by a proactive commitment to his partner's needs with electrifying originality, sound judgment, and strict morals. Specializing in a wide range of creative projects, ranging from handmade corporate identity to effective and eye-popping publishing. At Heretikus and Associates, he says they are fluid energy, pure oxygen, and lucid water in all areas where visual communication is paramount. Thank you so much for joining us today. Over to you, Mr. Leftress. Thank you, Aparna. Thank you, and thank you, everyone, for inviting me to, the, to, to, this, to this fantastic forum. And the speakers have been amazing. I've been following the whole day, and it's been really, really fantastic. So today, uh, uh, we're going to talk about this, the disruption through uh, art and design education challenges, uh, because, because uh, especially in the, in the past two years, but of course, in the, long, long before that, there has been a significant disruption in uh, design education. So my name is Lefteris. Uh, I've been painting for a long time. And uh, I was also a, a musician, a violinist. Currently, I'm a designer, I'm an educator, and I'm also a podcaster. Uh, so I'm going to also give you some context. So wh what I'm going to say uh, is really related to the visual communication design. So that's graphic design, illustration, digital media, animation, sequential thinking. So it's related to, uh, to visual communication. And also the context is that, of course, uh, in many countries, uh, the, the research is focused around the specific country, we have a global uh, situation, a global uh, network of art colleges, and of course, these things apply more or less to each and every one of, of those. So, really, I, I don't have answers. <laughs> I'm going to take you through my journey, but I'd like also to have a discussion later on and just ask the questions. So. When I started teaching, um, I realized that there was some uh, areas that needed more more expanding on, like sort of, for example, uh, not enough uh, skills in uh, in visual communication. So I really started a, a process of reflect of reflexive research uh, that, of course, took a very long time it, it, since since then, um, and I wanted to improve. Uh, how, how that process was being done. So really, I started looking at the relationship between the university, the, acad the academia, the students, and the industry. So really, that is the uh, tripartite area uh, of, of the stakeholders where a lot of, a lot of things are misunderstood. The way that, for example, industry Expect, the expectations of, of uh, students from the industry and the expectations of the industry from the students and how academia and university and education can play a role in that. So I think uh, when we're looking at art and design education, uh, this is the, the relationship that we need to be looking at. I also had uh, the opportunity to participate in transmaking a uh, European project uh, that looked at the specifics of placemaking uh, and relationship of public spaces. And that, of course, was, was a great accelerator uh, in my research. Out of that, 10 years later, uh, I, created the, uh, I created the Design Education Forum in Alicante. And of course, uh, we've been doing this forum every year. We're about to launch the new one in uh, November of this year. So out of that research, which I'm going to, to talk a bit later, the forum came out. I uh, also have a podcast called Design Education Talks that can be found in these platforms. And I have also another podcast called Designer Talks Podcast. And of course, people can contact me 
I can give them more details about that. So one of my mentors called Daniel Priestley uh, said that our best thinking from five years ago is our baggage today. So really, we really need to be constantly reevaluating uh, our strategies. And in, um, and in education, we have, in higher education, we have another, another three stages which is the preparation for higher education. So, so what happens in the preparation stage? How, how informed are students to where they're going to go, really? Uh, now with the more options available to them, students need to be ever so much better informed to where they're going. Um, in, during, during the higher education process, and of course we're looking at the curriculum, we're looking at uh, support available. We're looking at the whole process during the experience of education, and again later into employment. How how does how is the process from from the education from higher education into employment, and how do graduates find that journey? And of course, <laughs> we realize that that journey right now is has become even more complicated. There is a tendency in, uh, in, in visual communication education that we're moving from, these, from the traditional courses that were highly specialized uh, to, more, to, more, to courses that, that combine more disciplines. So, for example, uh, there are still, of course, there are so many courses that you can study graphic design specifically. But, of course, in order for the students to meet the needs of employment and employability, courses are offering uh, a greater scope like visual communication or even, even greater design courses. So we are moving uh, towards courses that are uh, becoming more generic, although depth is still required and specialization is still re required. So one of the things that uh, we need to be looking at. And that has, is one of the things that has been disrupted uh, pre-COVID, of course, during COVID, is contact time and how that happens. Uh, everybody had a different experience of uh, online, offline, of hybrid. Uh, but of course, it seems that right now, due to the increased complexity, students need to be given more support rather than less. And this is an area where we'd be looking at, and how do we, uh, how do we handle that? And again, as I said before, could we look at this, the journey again? So we need to be looking at the journey constantly from uh, before, before the, the, the university experience, during and after. How can, how can the industry yeah, support students and aspiring designers. So really another area is how can we give more support uh, to the students right now, especially since everyone, or at least a great number of students, uh, is having uh, increased uh, challenges in, in their uh, student life and of course in, the, in, in, in their life at home. Another area that we need to be exploring is what, what direction is design taking and, and, and how can home education support this? So really, uh, can we, uh, what, is it, what do we need to teach? Do we need to teach uh, uh, design skills? Do we need to teach coding? Do we need to teach uh, other kinds of skills? We constantly need to be reevaluating this. And of course, how can we support students? Another, another big one, which was discussed in the in cumulus of this year, was the question of online and offline apprenticeships. How do we uh, handle apprenticeships in education? Uh, and how do we help students gain that much needed experience, whether it's in an online environment or an offline environment? And of course, uh, a lot of these things are being discussed uh, in the 
uh, the education form of this of this year, which is on the 11th, 12th of November, 21. So the greatest gift of education is to give the freedom to the students to be themselves. This is what I'm aiming at in my teaching. And really, it's about not giving uh, packaged, ready answers, but, in, but ensuring that the, the students have the ability to express themselves more rather than being restricted by constraints and by fixed ideas that, that might be, that, that might be, but that students might be feel the pressure of having. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for that wonderful presentation, Mr. Heretakis. Uh, as uh, you said, the great, yeah. Tell sorry, me. I mean, if we have more time, if anybody wants to have a mini discussion of some sort, you know, this is what I'm uh, Actually, we are running late, uh, but uh, we'll uh, take the questions and we'll share it to you. Okay. Okay, and as Brilliant. you said, the greatest gift of education is to give the freedom to the students to be themselves. Perfectly said. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank and thank you. Thank you. Now, uh,